Yes, if you are if you are among those writing GCE this period, as far as the practicals or sciences are concerned, please I want you to pay attention to this video because everything I'm going to tell you in this video will help you so much. So I am making this video in respect to the messages students were sending to me, especially those students who registered for this year's GCE, NECO and WAEC. Okay, so many of them were like, sir, when is WAEC and, and NECO going to release the specimen for this year's exam so that they can study? All I want you to understand is WAEC or NECO will not be releasing any specimen online because all the questions, all the questions you are going to see as far as this exam is concerned are all theoretical. You are not going to see them like the practical, the specimens are not going to be physical, just like the other um, internal exams where the teachers will be instructed by WAEC and NECO to provide certain materials or certain specimen for the practical, which will be presented to you on that very day of the exam. But when you talk about GCE, it is not like that. Most of those specimens will be drawn on the question paper. So it is now left for you to be able to identify the specimen, to be able to know, that is what I mean by identify, to be able to know the specimen drawn on that question paper. So if you're able to know what it is, you'll be able to answer the questions that follows. I want you to pay attention to this video, okay? So if, but if you need any special assistant as far as these exams are concerned, all you need to do is just to follow me on my WhatsApp group using the number written on the screen or you follow my channel where you get all the information and assistance you need as far as this exam is concerned, ranging from art subjects to science subjects. Because our aim is to ensure that you come out with a perfect result. As one who is preparing to write this GCE agri practical and pass effectively, it is not just only in agri practical, but in biology. Okay? So the things you should consider, pay attention on, is one, you should pay attention on the labeling. Because in this practical, you will be asked to label those organisms or those equipment that has been drawn in that question paper. Two, is you will be asked to write out the name of those materials or those um, drawings in that question paper. Three, you will be asked to state the uses. Very, very important. Agricultural science do not fail or agricultural question do not fail to, um, to touch the uses of some of these crude tools, especially the farm implements, like the hoe, the cutlass, the axe, and all the rest of them. They must ask you to state the uses of this um, specimen. So all you need to do is have a clear knowledge about every specimen drawn there, and with that, it will enable you to be able to state the uses of those specimens. Hope you're getting it now. For example, hole. What is hole used for? Now, the hole is used for weeding. It is used for transplanting. It is used for making ridges. Hope you're getting it now. Those are the uses of a hole. So I'm just giving you this as a clue on what you are to write as far as the practical agric is concerned. Again, you should also go and study you um maintainers how to maintain some of these farm tools they are very very important how to maintain them now one of the things you should always note is that any material that has a metallic part that has a metallic part one one of its maintenance is by greasing okay or application of oil on the surface of the metal so that it will not rust. That is to prevent rusting. Two is wash and store in a cool, dry place. I am what I'm giving you now is just general 
maintenance of any tool that have metallic part. Of course, most of the farm tools or tools in agriculture are made up of um, metallic parts. So once you're asked to state the maintenance, maintenance, and again, one of the ways of maintaining every tool in agricultural um, practical or in agricultural um, science is by one, using the tool for the purpose it is made. Use tools for the purpose it is made. Now, another thing there is you'll be asked to, to describe the specimen. You'll be asked to describe the equipment which is drawn in the paper. Now, you are being able to describe it very, very well will earn you the mark you require. And to describe it is very, very easy. It's very, very easy. Now, how you describe it is just look at the material drawn there. Actual, actually, we all know, okay, for example, let's use cutlass as a case study in this particular practical. Let's assume that you see a cutlass there. How will you describe it? Now, you start by sharp metallic blade. Actually, um, um, cutlass, they have sharp blade. Now, two, if the drawing has a pointed end or a flat end, now, you also state it there. Now, the handle, some of these handles are made up of wooden handles. Some of them are made up of rubber handles. Okay? So, you state it there. It is very, very simple. It is very, very simple. That is how to describe um, farm tools. Now, so, with that, I believe it will be very, very simple for you to answer questions that comes in that manner. Now, another thing there is, you should go and learn on how to, you should go and study some of these incense, okay? Some of these incense, they must, it must surely come. They must surely set it. They may draw any of these incense, for example, grasshopper. Let's use grasshopper as a case study. Now, when you see, um, when you come across a drawing that looks like a grasshopper, now, things you should look out for or things you should consider in such questions are one they will ask you the the name of that particular specimen two is they will ask you about the 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 effects of those specimen in crops because one thing you must understand is wayek or neko gce will never fail to ask you questions on an um, effect of some incense found in the farmland they will ask you the question so i want you to take note of all these things i am going to tell you right now now let's take a look at general effects of um incense in the farmland general effect now we said that one of the effects of this organism or of this incense in the farmland is it reduces the viability of crops Yes, that is number one. It reduces the viability of crop. That is to say that when you try planting that crop again, that crop may not germinate. Or when you try to plant the seed, the seeds may not germinate. So that is what it means by reduces the viability of the crops. Now again, is it causes damage to store grains. Almost all the incense, almost all the incense causes damage to store grains. So that is what you should note. So any incense that is given, any incense that is given, these are the effects you should consider. So if you have your pen, I want you to put down something. Put it down. Okay. Now again, it attacks and reduces the market value of plant produce. It attacks and reduces the market value of plant produce. That is Another one, again, here it says, it increases cost of production in controlling them. It reduces cost, it increases cost of production in controlling them. Here it says, it can cause plant stroke crop disease. It can cause plant stroke crop disease. Now, another one there says, it can result to economic loss for the farmer. It can result to economic loss 
for the farmer. Very, very important. These are the things you should note. Now, here say it, it makes the crop look unattractive. It makes the crop look unattractive. So, you should take note of that. Those are the effects of most incense that you would see as far as this practical is concerned. Okay, now let's talk about control. Because you must be asked to control, that is, to state ways in which this incense can be controlled. Here we have chemical control, we have cultural control, and we have mechanical control. Okay, these are three major ways of controlling some of these incense. Now let's take a look at them one after the other. Here says the use of incenticides based on chemical control. We have use of incenticides cultural control we have early planting early harvesting crop rotation planting of incense resistant crop and again destroying or burning incense infected crops very very important now under mechanical we have hand picking store dry in bags and cans store the crops dry in cans and bag so that is all you need to know about incense they are very very important and these are the questions that wayak will never fail or neko will never fail to ask you as far as the practicals are concerned if you need any assistance as far as this exam is concerned ranging from art subject to science subject all you need to do is you Chat me up using my WhatsApp number or you join our Telegram group where you get all the help, all the assistance that you need as far as GCE exams are concerned. And I promise you that you will never regret it because there are things we cannot say or we cannot disclose as far as this channel is concerned. So our aim is to ensure that you come out with a perfect result.